Are you bored? Want something fun to do? Have you heard of Survive DC? Well, listen up, because it's the hip new thing to do. Here's Fred to describe. At the beginning of the night, you'll be given a map, a blue ribbon, and an orange ribbon. Tie the blue ribbon around your arm, and you're ready to begin your journey. As long as you're wearing it, you're a runner. Your job is to find each checkpoint and reach the end as quickly as possible. So it's kind of like a race. What's so hard about that? Well, Billie Jean, there are some people who don't get blue ribbons. So instead of wearing one, they wear an orange ribbon. And instead of running the race, they try to tag anyone wearing a blue ribbon. If you're tagged during the night by someone wearing an orange ribbon, you have to give them your blue ribbon as a trophy, and then put on your orange ribbon. Your new job is to tag as many other runners as possible. So the number of changes increases through the night? Gee, golly, that sounds difficult. So what's the best way to reach the finish line? Good question, Bobby. Let's turn to Survive DC expert Donald. Don, Don. the first thing you should do is avoid the quickest route. While it may get you there faster, there are chasers that patrol frequently, and you could end up face to face with one. Don, the second thing you should do is pace yourself. If you spend too much energy running, you may not have enough left to escape a chaser. Don, the last thing you should do is use your safe points wisely. They're sprinkled throughout the city, and recognizing them could make all the difference. Are there any rules we need to know? I'm glad you asked, Billie Jean. First, it's illegal to hide your ribbon. If you see someone hiding the ribbon, you can call them out yourself, or you can report them to the next checkpoint. We'll take care of the rest. Second, you cannot tag someone in a safe zone. These zones are marked on the map and include checkpoints and some public transportation. Third, follow all laws because the game does not exempt you from them. Also, don't do anything that could harm you. Remember, unlike in video games, if you die in this game, you die in real life. Finally, make sure to watch out for suspicious characters not playing the game. DC is home to many shady characters, like criminals, hippies, and homosexuals. So players should always be vigilant. Well kids, that's all the advice I have for you. Make sure to go to SurviveDC.com, register your team, and come out to play. We hope to see you there.